welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Dash Mini Waffle Stick Maker. This one is the Aqua Color, which is I think my favorite Dash product color. I just love it so much, it's very cute. And this particular one makes four inch waffle sticks. You can see on the inside, one thing I will say that's a little bit different about this, just as I'm opening it up, it does have this little safety feature, and I think that's meant so that it really clamps down on the waffle sticks. But you can see it has four separate sticks of waffles that are gonna come out, which I think is gonna be so perfect because my kids love dipping their waffles in syrup versus having them all cut up, and I just think this is a fun way to have waffles or brownies or cakes or whatever you decide to make in your waffle maker. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so we can get it heated up. All right, so the blue light's on. When the blue light turns off, that means it is going to be heated up and ready to use, and it should only take a couple of minutes. I will say that on the bottom of this, it has the non-slip grips down here, which are really nice. It's just not moving around on my counter. I know that's an issue with some lighter weight kitchen items is that while they are cute and compact, um, even just moving the cord around can move the product, and I don't feel like that's an issue with this one. All right, so it looks like this just became ready. It took just under two minutes for it to fully heat up, which is so awesome. I love that it heats up so quickly. I am just going to be using the pancake mix that my family really likes, which is the Kodiak Cakes brand um, pancakes, pancake and waffle mix. Um, it's just something that we really like. You can use whatever works for you. Um, and then we also are using this whiskware pancake mixer, which I love so much, and I know you can use it for other things, but you literally have it upside down. You add in your pancake mix, your water, your oil, whatever it is that you use in your mix. And then there's a little whisk ball in there, and you literally just shake it up like that, and then it's ready. You don't have any bowls. You don't have any whisks that you have to clean. You literally just have to clean this, and you can keep this in your fridge for a few days, which is so perfect if you make waffles every morning, you can just use this. So anyways, I really love this. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to lift this up and I'm just going to butter it. I know it is a non-stick non surface, but I really like them buttered. That way I don't feel like I need to put butter on top of the waffles afterwards too, just to ensure that nothing is going to stick. I don't even have to worry about it, so. All right, so I just put a little bit of butter on there and now I'm going to put my batter. You can see this squeeze top here. It just makes it so easy and I just twist it off the lid. So I am going to put these in each strip. I actually don't really think it matters if they overflow either, so. All right, we're just gonna see how it looks. So I'm gonna shut this and wait until it's done. It should take about a minute. All right, so this just finished. I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. Ooh, those are cute. So I didn't fill them quite enough. That's okay. All right, so I'm just using a rubber spatula so I don't scratch this nonstick surface. All right, these are so cute. I feel like these are really easily, once they cool down, you'll be able to tear them apart. It'll be perfect for dipping. I'm gonna go ahead and try another one and I'm gonna put a little bit more batter in it. All right, I'm gonna shut this. I put a little bit more batter in that time. All right, so I put a little bit too much in. As you can see, it kind of overflowed right here, but that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna take pick this up. I'm gonna grab my spatula again. All right. Oh, that comes up so easily. It's so cute. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this apart. Oh, it's hot in the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I love that it already has these perforated lines so that you can just tear them apart a lot more easy. All right, so here it is. I think that is so cute. It's ready to be dipped. You can mix it with whatever you want. I just think this is so cute, and I feel like when you dip your waffles in your syrup, it's just a lot less messy, at least in my opinion, with kids um, when they're just using their hands like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try one. so good. So I already know that I really like the Kodiak Cakes um, waffle and pancake mix, but I feel like the important thing to note here is that the texture of these waffles is perfect, which is 100% thanks to this waffle maker. As you can see, like up close, you have like that little bit of crispy outside that you're looking for in a waffle, but then when you break it apart, you have that really fluffy, soft inside. So these are absolutely divine. I love these so much. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check it out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider following us for more. Thanks for watching, bye.